Griswold in Groton, Connecticut in October of 2011. And we're here where the Battle of Groton Heights took place, September 6, 1781. On the morning of September 6, 1781, a British fleet under the command of former American General Benedict Arnold, traitor, I should say, appeared at the mouth of the Thames. We say Thames, not Thames, as the Brits say. Arnold's mission was to destroy American privateers in New London and to capture military supplies stored there. The British troops were divided into two divisions of 800 men, with one landing on each side of the river. The division on the New London side, commanded personally by Arnold, marched upriver to the town, quickly taking in succession Fort Trumbull, Town Hill Fort, and New London. Despite orders to the contrary, many buildings were burnt and homes plundered. And it's interesting that Arnold was born just uh, 30, maybe 20 miles north of uh, where he uh, set fire. On the Groton side of the river, the British division under Lieutenant Colonel Edmund Eyre marched toward Fort Griswold. Shortly after noon, with their troops in position to the north of the fort, Lieutenant Colonel Eyre's emissaries repeatedly demanded the surrender of the fort under a flag of truce. Fort Griswold's commander, Colonel William Ledyard, faced with the threat of no quarter, replied, We will not give up the fort. Let the consequences be what they may. The British troops assaulted but were driven back two times with heavy casualties, including Colonel Eyre. During a brief lull in the fighting, after a second assault, the American flag was shot from its halyard. Although instantly remounted on a pike pole, the British took this event as a signal of surrender and they advanced again, only to be fired upon. Infuriated at being resisted after they believed the garrison had surrendered, they scaled the wall with renewed fury. fury. Finally, a British soldier managed to open the gate, allowing the British troops to pour in. Conflicts, conflicting accounts indicate that even while Colonel Eddy had ordered the garrison to surrender, some men continued firing from the barracks. In the heat of the battle, the British troops rampaged. When finally brought back under control, 88 Americans were dead, including Colonel Ledyard and another 35 wounded. Honor reported his losses for the expedition at 51 dead and over 130 wounded. And here is one of the best preserved forts probably in the country of the, the era. And this is absolutely beautiful uh, monument here, overlooking the heights and overlooking the, uh, the, the city of Groton and the, Them, the Thames River and uh, looking into New London. So. And if this was built here in uh, 1775, and it says here it's one of the best uh, preserved forts. So there was a series of forts in this area. Obviously, you would have that. Both sides of the river are very strategic. And this is where today they build, uh, they still build things here, I believe. They still make things here, believe it or not. They uh, build uh, nuclear submarines, and not too far is the home of the, um, the American submarine fleet.